What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a weakness policy Ho-Oh theme that features the Sun Combo, Groudon, and Venusaur. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you want to stay up to date on all of my content, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, only takes about two seconds of your guys' time, and it really helps me grow as a content creator. So I give a huge thank you to all of my subscribers. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is one of those Pokemon who is pretty strong, but not OP in Series 13. I really do like it. It's definitely a lot of fun to use because I don't use it too often. It's got the Regenerator as its ability, and it's rocking the Weakness Policy like we already mentioned as its item. It's got Sacred Fire, it's got Brave Bird, it's got Recover, and it's got Protect for its fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be Assault Vest Groudon over here, and Groudon is just one of the top tier legendaries in Series 13. It's got Drought, obviously, as its ability, then the moveset it is rocking with is going to be Persiplice Blades, Rock Tomb, Fire Punch, and Shadow Claw. Middle left is going to be Zamazenta over here. And Zamazenta over here is basically just a nice little support Pokemon because it has coaching on it. It can coach up physical attackers such as Groudon or Ho-Oh and give them a plus one attack boost and a plus one defense boost at the same time. It's got Iron Head for its lonesome stab hitting move. It's got Snarl for a nice little special attack drop. And then it has Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Shadow Rider Kylox, and this Pokemon is still one of the strongest in Series 13. It is going to be the strongest Pokemon probably up until the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's got the As One ability, and then it has Focus Ash because that is the best item for Calyrex. Then it has Astro Barrage, Snarl, Will O Wisp, and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Venusaur over here, Chlorophyll to double its speed in the sun. Then it's got Life Orb as its item. It's got Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power, and Sleep Powder. This uh, Pokemon is super, super strong. Really, really good, especially paired up with Groudon. Final Pokemon on today's team is one of my favorite support mons of all time. It is going to be Light Clay Grimmsnarl. I don't know why, ever since the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, I have loved using this Pokemon, and it, it's just brought me a lot of victories. I don't I don't know what it is, but this Pokemon is my main man, Pots and Pans. It's got Prankster as its ability, Light Clay as its item, like I already mentioned, and then its moveset is going to be Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Scary Face to lower opposing Pokemon speed. But guys, there's team preview. If you want to rent it for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Ho-Oh Sun team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. This guy is rocking with Zerud and Zebra Aura. He also has Talonflame for Speed Control. Then he's got three OP Pokemon with Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Zacian, and Groudon. Okay, so I feel like he's either going to lead the Talonflame or like the Zacian Shadow Rider Calyrex. That's definitely an option. Or he can definitely lead the Zero Aura. So I think Zero Aura or Talonflame is going to come out here. So I might just go straight into, say, Ho-Oh. Wouldn't be a bad lead. I really do like Ho-Oh. Just so I can get some Speed Control, I can kind of Dynamax him and roll off from there. I do dig Ho-Oh. So I'm going to go Ho-Oh. I could go Venusaur and not even bring Groudon if I wanted to. Because, because I could set this on with just Dynamax Ho-Oh. And kind of walk from there. Plus he has Groudon on his own. But Groudon is still going to be a beast here. It does, ha it does have a Soul Fest. And it can really roll off strong. Or I could go Ho-Oh. Grimmsnarl as a nice little lead. Set up some screens. Kind of go from there. Hopefully they can proc my policy. I wouldn't be too bad. It would not be too bad. Um, Or I could go Zamazetta. Zamazetta is nice because we can coach up. But yeah, I gotta bring Calyx in the back end. And then I'm thinking just Venusaur. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if I should go with Zamazetta or Grimmsnarl. And I feel like Grimmsnarl is my main man. I'm gonna rock with him. I'm gonna rock with him. But yo, before battle number one starts, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are some of your favorite things you guys like to do in your free time? Besides video games, because you guys know that's the obvious answer. Everybody loves video games. They're a good old time. Let me know some of you guys' other hobbies. For me, personally, I like to play hockey. I like to watch sports. I like to do all that good stuff. But let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. And then obviously, like I said, video games. But like, that's gonna be the obvious answer. He's gonna go Zero Aura alongside with, uh, alongside with Talonflame. So he can go for some speed control here. I mean, um, I think I'll just Dynamax here and I'm just gonna Airstream and what do I go after you? I think I just go after you. I think I just go after him and if I can set up a Reflect here. He has a lot of physical attackers on the field, but I think he just fakes me out, right? Hopefully he fakes out the Ho-Oh and I get off this Reflect and we kind of roll off from there. But he has a lot of different options that he can do. He can go into Tailwind, he can go into Fake Out. He can go straight into like a plasma fist into my ho -Oh, which I'm kind of hoping for so he can proc the policy. Because Ho-Oh can soak up pretty well. And if I can start taking speed control with uh, 
with the airstreams that would be nice but again he is definitely going to tailwind but i can also start scary facing he's gonna fake out onto the ho-o -oh slot that's huge for us it's a good turn for us we love it and here comes the tailwind the tailwind comes out and about i'm totally fine with this we set up a beautiful reflect and i'm gonna be able to drop a nice lovely airstream so my next turn i don't know if i should start dropping scary faces or if i should just roll into like spirit break to finish off this town flame it really depends how much damage we do here and we just KO straight up, so that's huge. That is huge. So we know that this arrow aura is going to be rocking focus ash. He's kind of just sitting there. He wants to uh He wants to just get off tail with talent point. I think that was his play. But really, really nice for us is that the fake out went into the ho, -ho slot, so we were able to set up a reflect that turn and come up big. So if I had to guess he has a bunch of physical attacking. He probably has Zassy in the back end and maybe Shadow Rider Cathar. It's gonna be Zarut, who is also physical attacking. Also physical attacking. I think I just dropped a flare on that thing, right? Or I would rather airstream. Airstream would be better all around. I'm just gonna airstream and get spirit break and double down into it. And I think I just might just take off the focus ash here. I could scary face these Pokemon, but I think we're fine. With reflect out and about. I think we're sitting pretty here. He's gonna end up Dynamax in Zerud. I'm with it all day. He's gonna outspeed. I think he procs my policy here, right? I think he procs my policy, and that could be beautiful. That could be lovely. I think it'd be lovely. Because the roots can come out here. Such a cool mythical Pokemon. Really cool mythical Pokemon. This might be one of the first times I actually versus a root on the ladder. I used it in a video, but I haven't really versed it. Let's see how it goes into it. He's gonna coach. Oh, he's gonna coaching. He's gonna coach up. And are you gonna try to take out my Grimmsnarl? That would be no bueno. You know for Rockfall. Oh, this thing is ripping with Rockfall. That might KO me. Can you eat this up? You might be able to eat that up with Reflect. Yeah, thank you, Reflect. So Reflect's gonna come in hot here. Thank you very much. And wow, it's a great play. It's a great play. We have weakness policy proc. He is plus one on defense. Coaching Zera or coming in hot. Coming in hot. Airstream's gonna come through. Now, I might have to scary face this guy next turn. But we do some massive damage, which is huge. Some good old damage. That's a rude. I'm kind of just trying to waste out this tail one turn. I really am. I could guard, obviously, but I feel like we just scary face and we try to try to get off some damage here. The spirit breaks in the poke here. We're gonna chip up some damage and more importantly, take off the focus ash. And we get a special attack drop, but again, it does none. Oh, it didn't even have focus. What am I doing then? That's an air balloon. I'm guessing the Calyrex probably on his team has focus ash. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. I guess I missed the uh the text pop up when it said uh air balloon has been popped. But I want to see the ho speed. Uh oh, let me see your speed. What's your speed sitting at? I don't know. I think the rude's rather faster, so the rude might come after me. I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm gonna say I can guard here. I might do. I'm gonna guard. And I'm just gonna scary face uh I'm scary face the root here or Zero Aura. Hmm. Cause Zeru can go down pretty easily. I'm just gonna scary face the root here. Oh, is he dark? What am I doing? He's dark. I can't scary face him. That was stupid. That was a stupid play. That was a stupid play. E Web's gonna come out here. He's gonna take out my Grimstone. Oh god, come on, change. You're better than that. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. Hopefully Zeru goes after ho -Oh, but I doubt it, right? He's gonna overgrowth. I heard soul. Can we eat that? We might be able to eat that. I think we can. Good work, Grimmy. If you all eats, I could scary face this Sarah Aura. Um I don't think I have to, to be honest with you guys. I mean Tailwind should be ending rather soon. It could be beautiful for us. Tailwind ends out be beautiful. Does it? It might. It might. It's gonna come close. Everyone gets buffets though. I always fall for that prankster with dark type every here and there. Usually I catch on to it, but I haven't versed the root in a while, so or I haven't even versed the root at all. So I was just like, alright, let's get after it. But hopefully Tailwind ends. Does it end? No, it does not. I think it has one more turn. It does have one more turn left. I could slow down the Zero Aura. I mean, it's really not that fast overall. So do I have in the back end? Oh, I didn't even set the weather. That's on me. I mean he would have changed it anyway. But I feel like he could possibly have ground on him in the back end. I still have Calyrex with the Sash. I feel like we should be thriving here. Um, I could hard swap. Get some Regenerator back. But I feel like we just let these Pokemon go down and let Tailwind end. We can pretty much uh, get after the battle that way. I'm just going to do this. I am going to go into a Spirit Break. And I'm just going to double down the root here. Even though I think he just picks up the easy double kill. Yeah, E-Web comes out here. I might even KO both, right? Oh, oh E's actually, dude, that's amazing. That's amazing. So someone's going to get off a turn. We might be able to take out the root here. Someone's getting off a turn. He's gonna go for an airstream. He's gonna start boosting speed. And he's gonna take out Grimstarl. If Grimstarl drops out here, um, we take out Zerud here. 
I'm fine with this. I'm, that's not a bad turn. It is not a bad turn. And Brave Bird's gonna fly. So we're gonna drop down here. We are gonna take out Zerud at the same time. I don't mind that. Um, Like I said, I have Venusaur in the back end. I wish the sun was out. I'm kind of curious to see who his final Pokemon is. If I had to guess, it's gotta be Calyrex, right? Calyrex v Calyrex. And this could be tough. This could be really tough for us. So if it is Calyrex... If it is Calyrex, he's going to be able to just E-Web and outspeed me. Halen's gone. Calyrex outspeed that, uh, what's it called? I don't think Calyrex can outspeed the, uh, the Zero Aura. He's plus one. Oh, and he does have Groudon. That is huge. That is huge. He has Groudon. He has Groudon. But that thing being plus one, I wonder if Venusaur can, I think Venusaur can outspeed it. I would love to put that thing to sleep. And just allow my Calyrex to go. I dig it, I dig it. Or I can just go into like a grass move because we do have the grass terrain out and about. We do have the terrain out and about. Might as well you take advantage of it, right? We can do some crazy damage with Life Orb and all that. So let me see uh, how many turns are left in terrain. It is three. Uh, like I said, I can just drop this thing, right? A Leaf Storm should just be able to dump on this. So you know what? I'm, I am just going to Leaf Storm while I'm in terrain. I'm just going to pop an Astral Barrage. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to protect the ground on. That's cool. And what's Sarah Or going for? Going for an E-Web. So he's looking just to slow down a little bit. Looking to get after the battle that way. That's totally fine. We'll take out the Zero Aura all day. And I think we still outspeed the ground on. This Astral Brow should be able to just take out the uh, the Zero Aura, right? Zero Aura is a bit of a lightweight. Just a tad bit of a lightweight. Yes, yeah, dude. I, <laughs> when I read ground, I was like, let's go. Let's go. He brought out ground on, set the sun for us, which is awesome. And Astro Barrage comes through, and it does take out the Zero War. We got a crit, but again, I think it was taking him out regardless. Okay, so now we're sitting here 2v1. I think Venusaur still outspeeds Groudon, even though it's minus one. And we still have Reflect, so that's really, really big for us. Again, yo, Grimstarl coming in clutch. It's just too good. Grimstarl is just too good. And did we get our Sash back? We don't get our Sash back. I could protect to get my Sash back, which would be a smart play, but... I'm all about just dropping Leaf Storms. <laughs> Leaf Storms and Astro Barrage. Let's roll into it. That should be GG's, right? Life Orb, Stab, super effective in the grassy terrain. We get crazy amount of stack boosts here. Groudon should be gone. He should be gone. He should be gone. But yo, solid battle from us all around. The Ho-Oh doing some work. The Grimstar will get us started strong with the Reflect. The Reflect and, and Light Screens are just super, super strong. The Leaf Storm pokes out here. Should be able to KO, right? Yep, all day. See you later, Groudon. That's going to be GG's. We start off today's video 1-0. Let's hop to our second. Look to go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record, or I should say guarantee ourselves a winning record in today's video. We're going up against a Ho-Oh as well. And then he has Whimsicott, Kyogre, Kieran Black, and then he has Dialga and Zacian. So pretty strong team. I could go in the Zamazetta and like Groudon, or I could just go straight in the sun. But the problem with going straight in the sun is he's definitely going to bring Kyogre in the back end. So I could go Zamazetta and Ho-Oh wouldn't be bad. Zamazetta and Ho-Oh wouldn't be bad. But again, if he leads to Kyogre, we could... We could run into some problems. <laughs> we could definitely run into some problems here. But uh, I could go... Mm, what do I want to do here? Grimstarl wouldn't be bad. Set up some screens. I do like the screen setup. We could go screens Grimstarl alongside with Calyrex. That wouldn't be too bad. And then bring in Venusaur and Groudon. Or we can just go ho oh, well. Hmm. I kind of like Venusaur and Groudon. Just try to win the weather war and go from there. I'm digging it all day. I'm digging it all day. So we're going to go Calyrex to get a start here. We're going to go Grimstarl. We're going to try to set up some screens. Make your team a lot more bulkier and then kind of move out from there. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But we're definitely going to have to win the weather war. That, that's that's key. That is key here. Winning the war that is all about weather. So whenever you go up against Groudon and Kyogre, I feel like winning the weather war kind of wins you the match. But sometimes it is a little bit different. But for the most part, I should say. He goes Whimscott and Ho-Oh. I was going to go Ho-Oh and Zamazetta. That could have been good for me. But he could just dump on me. But at this point, I just set up a Reflect. And what do I go into from here? Reflect, and I could... Oh, no, I can't will o -Wisp. He's fire. He is a fire Pokemon. I was going to say, we could will o -Wisp him. But now nah, Reflect is, is what, what's happening. We're going to Reflect, and I think I just Astro Barrage. Straight up, chip up some damage. Take off the Focus Ash on the Wimscott. I'm all about it. So we could actually tail in here, take a bit of speed control. I mean, that's cool. I'm not too worried about it. But at that point, I could just scary face the Ho-Oh. Kind of bring it back down to normal. And then get off another turn with Calyrex. He's going to end up straight up Tailwind. No Dynamax comes out here. That's fine by me. And Reflect is going to set up. So he's setting up that beautiful Reflect. That beautiful Reflect. And what's he going to go for? Sacred Fire into Sacred Grimstarl? 
No, because after my Calyx, she soaks, no burns. Awesome, no burns come out here. Astro Botch is flying. So he sets up the tail when he's kind of chilling. He's got some damage on the board. And wow, that's some good work, yo. That's some good damage right there. That's some great damage. But from here, I'm just going to scary face this thing. He could swap out, but I'm just going to keep popping these Astro Botches and going from there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. So we're wasting out Tailwind turns. We're doing pretty good here. I have Reflect set up. I do eventually want to get off a light screen. But I feel like we can wait for that. He's, he's going to send a memento. He's going to memento. That's a smart play. It's a real smart play. So he's going to drop my attack and my special attack harshly and sacrifice himself. That's a smart play there. So I could swap Cali here. I could swap Cali. Just to save it for late game. Like it has a lot of speed, especially when Tailwind ends. You can really benefit from that. But we'll see. It really depends what he brings out here. We're going to go for this. It's going to do like nothing. I actually did a little bit more than I thought it would. And this thing is just going to slowly recover. So smart play by him. Um, I feel like we just swap Calyrex, right? He might end up Dynamax and Ho-Oh at this point. Let's see what he brings out here. So we could swap him for Groudon. But then giving him Heat could be a tough play for us. Let's see what he goes into. Where are we going to? He's going to roll in his... This boy right here. And he doesn't have... Does he not have his... uh? Does he not have his item? What item is this thing holding? That's not normal Zassian. He's not holding his item. So he doesn't have Behemoth Blade, I don't think. Uh, I think I just scary face this thing. And I thought Burn on that would be good as well. That would actually be really good if we could just slow that thing down. Have Calyrex out speed and then we go from there. He's going to Dynamax Ho-Oh. I'm cool with that. Hopefully he doesn't protect that Zassian. That would be tough. That would be real tough. But again, we're just wasting out these Tailwind turns, and I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But his final Pokemon, I feel like, has to be Kyogre, right? It has to be Kyogre. He has to win the Weather War. But if we can just get rid of a Pokemon and force Kyogre out here, that would be really good for us. The Scary Face, he does not protect. That's huge. Scary Face comes out here. If we can land this Will-O-Wisp, Jeans could be sitting pretty. He could be sitting pretty. Come on. Come on, Cali. Let's go. Kyogre's with a big-time Will-O-Wisp on him. Hopefully, he's not Lumbar, because he has a different item. He has a different item. He doesn't have Behemoth Blade. I don't know what item he's holding. I really do not know. He goes for a player off, and we're able to soak because of that burn and that reflect out at the same time. Fair Stream's going to fly. Are you going to go after Calyrex? Go after Grimstar and take out Grimstar. It's a little upsetting. That is a little upsetting. He gets a crit, but do I Dynamax Venusaur here? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not even going to Dynamax Venusaur. I'm just going to go in the Venusaur. I'm going to put the... Uh, I'm going to put the what's called to sleep, the ho to sleep. And I'm going to swap Calyx just so I have it for later usage. And then I might Dynamax the Venus Ring. Options, options, options. Or I can Dynamax Groudon because I do have a rock move. And that can really help us out here. So Venus is going to fly. We are going to go for a sleep pattern right here, right now. Do that thing. And then I am just going to go straight into a uh, straight into a Groudon swap. But yeah, the Zassian is not steel typing. It's straight fairy. It's straight fairy, I believe. Because Sludge Bomb's super effective right onto it. Yeah, it doesn't have its item, so he's not steel typing. It doesn't have Behemoth Blade. It could have Iron Head. Because that, that's what move gets substituted out for Behemoth Blade when you have the item. But that's weird. Like, what item are you using for Zamazetta? I kind of want to see this dude's team after this, after this whole battle. So we're going to hard swap the Calyrex. I'm going to try to put the Ho-Oh to sleep. And if we can do that, I can Dynamax the ground. I would kind of get more from there. But again, I think he might, he might just have what's called in the back end. He might just have Kyogre in the back end, and he ends up... Did he just make that call? Did he just make that that that, that call? You want the Kyogre? No way he makes that call. Wow, yo, I'll give him props all day. I'll give him props all day, but if we can put this, uh... If we can put this dude to sleep here, it'd be a big turn for us. It'd be a big turn for us. He goes for a player off here. You should be able to soak up all day, Groudon. Thank you very much. Not too worried about the Samazetta, and we do put this thing to sleep. So I could hard swap the Groudon. I could Dynamax here as well. Who do I Dynamax? I could Dynamax the Groudon here. I could just do this. I really want to Leaf Storm though. I could just straight up Sludge Bomb and just uh, Quake here. Kind of lean towards and then Flare maybe next turn. Oh no, we might. Oh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Hmm. I could get Cali in here. 
Hmm, let's go back to Venusaur's move. This is tough. Uh, I could just go for Leaf Storm. I'm going to go for Leaf Storm. And you know what? I'm just going to Dynamax. And I'm just going to Flare. I'm going to change up weather that way. Even though we're dropping our special attack, we're just going to change up weather. Who would Strawl? Wow. Who would Strawl is that? At least I'm still going to go into this uh, Hagger, which is nice. It's beautiful. So I can drop a Rock next turn, which I might just do. I feel like how is our only problem. I'm not too, really too worried about this uh, Sassian because we burned it. And I feel like if we could just get off some big time damage here, we should be fine. So we're going to Flare. We're going to take Weather Control here. I think that's pretty good for us. Even though we're going to do like no damage over onto this Pokemon. I think we should be fine. Let's see how this plays. Leaf Storm's gonna come out here. Wow, we outspeed regardless. We outspeed regardless, and we just get rid of the Kyogre like that. We'll see you later, Kyogre. Get him on out of here. We outspeed him regardless. Thing's gone. The thing's gone. And then we change up weather permanently in our favor. I'm cool with that turn. I'm cool with that turn. So solid second battle here. We're rolling out strong. We're having some nice long drawn out battles for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. But yeah, we're also playing good at the same time. So we get rid of the rain. He's gonna be forced to bring back out Zassian. Which I, I'm confused by Assassin. Like, why isn't it Rocket Behemoth Blade? I do not know, but we still have Reflect out on the field. That's why I love Grimmsnarl. I said it in the beginning, Grimmsnarl's support with the screens and the light clay is one of my favorite support Pokemons of all time. And this is exactly why. Like, dude, the screens last way too long, and it just helps your team out for the rest of the battle. Because how many turns are left in the screens? We still have three more turns left in the screens. That's absurd. That is absurd. But from here, I'm just going to drop a Sludge Bomb. I'm just going to... Drop a max rock ball, which will be four times super effective. That's pretty much GG's, right? I think we're sitting in a in a winning position here. Like that burn on that Zassian was huge too. Really neglects a lot of damage that that thing can do. We'll see what he what he ends up doing. Like I said, I do not know what his item is. Was it Focus Ash? It's gotta be Focus Ash, right? Or maybe a berry. I'm just super confused of what that thing would be holding. Obviously, its best item is giving him Behemoth Blade. <laughs> like, but I give him props for not using it. Like, that's definitely an off meta Zassian right there. Off meta Zassian. So, we're going to end up dropping a nice little Sludge Bomb. Probably not going to KO because we lowered our special attack, but still do a nice chunk. Yep, beautiful. We chunk up some damage. We're going to lose some HP due to Life Orb. And this thing is just going to rock with a crunch. Rock it with a crunch. Look at that. Crunch on a Zassian. That's weird. Take your fire comes through. That picks up the KO. That's totally fine. We're going to drop a Rock Ball. We're going to KO the Ho-Oh. And then you guys know Kalex is going to roll out here and finish off the battle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's a great match by us. We're going to guarantee yourself a winning record. I feel like I've been playing so good in Pokemon Sword and Shield as of recently. I do not know why, but I have been. I just have been. I've been grabbing you guys winning records. I've been making some great plays, some great calls, some great reads. I just feel like I've been thinking a lot more and kind of like taking my... Taking my good old time with turns, which uh, you guys should definitely start doing if you guys want to look to get better. It's just analyze every turn to like the fullest potential that you could. I feel like you get a lot more value out of it, and you play a lot better at the same time. So we're going to bring Calyrex here. Like I said, this match is already over. Calyrex outspeeds. We'll drop an Astral Barrage. That is GG. Good old game. Good old game. And hopefully this guy just cancels and saves this poor Zacian from not dying. Does this guy really want me to KO his Zacian? That'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. But we're just going to do that. We're going to Quake. We're going to go into an Astro Barrage. And again, I think this dude just cancels, right? He does not. Oh, no. He does. There it is, guys. Do it over today's video. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. Hopping into our final battle for today's video. And we've been seeing a lot of Ho-Ohs on the rank ladder, which is hilarious. But this guy's also rocking Ho-Oh. He's got the Wimscott. He's got Solgaleo. He also has Kai Ogre, which I would think he would bring, considering we have uh, Groudon. And then he has Sunders and Halucha over here. This little Halucha, really cool Pokemon. I don't know if I should go into Zamazetta and Ho-Oh. We could go into that combo, or we can go Groudon and kind of just uh, coach that up. It would be pretty good, but I feel like just maybe he might just uh, bring uh, Kyogre. So what's what I want to do here? I could go Zamazetta and Ho-Oh and try to get that rolling. I really kind of want to try to get right out that rolling. So I'm going to go in, in with them too. I'm going to coach up. We're just going to get rocking out with that. And then I'm going to bring Calyrex in the back end. Then I feel like we have to bring in like Groudon, right? We have to win the weather. Brown's nice. Has a rock move for that. Uh, for that Ho Oh and that Halucha. We we can do a lot of work. Brown. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Obviously, like I feel like the Ho Oh and Zamazetta combo isn't the best option for this battle, but I haven't showcased it yet, so I'm gonna try to pull it off in battle number three for you guys. Bum bum bum. Every time I see VGC at the end of somebody's name, 
I always think they're a YouTuber. So this guy might be a YouTuber. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see. He ends up sending out Whimsicott and Sogaleo. Whimsy Whims and Sogaleo. So we can tell when he can also proc a policy on that thing. Um, what do I do? I got a straight up coach. I definitely have to coach up. Um, Dynamax, do I airstream? I could airstream. I think it could be rocking a rock move as well. They have Dauntless Shield. I do get a beautiful defense boost. And I think I just go straight into a coach here. Coach onto the Ho-Oh -Oh and then Dynamax. And do I get a little bit of speed here or do I straight up flare? And maybe proc policy. I think I'm going to wait to see if he he wants to proc policy. I'm just going to go straight after uh, Wimscott. I'm just going to do that. I am going to do that. Alright, uh, let's see how this one plays out here. Because we know Sogaleo is rocking with this policy. 100%, right? Unless Ho-Oh is, but I feel like Ho-Oh has to have like the life orb or something. But Sogaleo with weakness policy is definitely like... That's like a staple. Like you, you only use Sogaleo with weakness policy. With weakness policy, it's probably one of the best Pokemon with weakness policy. It just really thrives with it. It's just its best side. It's like Calyrex. Like it's folk. It's like a Shadow Rider Calyrex with focus Sash. It's just that's his best item, you know. So we're gonna end up Dynamax and Ho. -Oh. Um, I wonder what he does with uh, Sogaleo here. Does he Dynamax? He does not. He's gonna protect. We love that turn. We don't mind that turn. We really like that turn. We're gonna coach up. And I wonder what he's doing with the uh, Whimsy here. Could have charm. He could have charm. I I don't know what he's doing. I think he's attacking me straight up. He's not using a prankster move. Let me bring it down to focus dash, which I adore. What are you going for here? I'm really curious to see what Wimscott's going for. Oh, trick room. He's trick room, isn't he? He's trick room. That son of a biscuit. That son of a biscuit. There it is. He trick roomed us. That little booger. <laughs> that little booger. Um. Okay, uh, I feel like we just take out Wimscott here with Behemoth Bash. I could Snarl, obviously, but, uh, hmm. That little booger, he trick roomed us. <laughs> he trick roomed us. I always hate when Wimscott trick rooms. I could Dynamax. I don't know if he's going to do it, though. I mean, obviously, we go last. I think we just Behemoth Bash in this slot. And I feel like I said, I said a little bit of weather here. And I'll go for the Policy Brock. I'm all about it. So we do, we are plus one on defense, which is really good. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing. Both my Pokemon are actually plus one. Trick Room coming out here, oh dude, that that hurts soul. Luckily, I do have Groudon in the back end. Groudon's rather slow, like 115 speed. It's not too bad. But luckily, we did not go after so Sogaleo last turn. So at least we got some value off before we actually pop Trick Room. So he's gonna actually encore me. So now we're gonna coach. Okay, we're coaching Wimscott. That's actually hilarious. I like the turn. He's gonna end up max quaking me. Hopefully that just KOs me so we don't coach that thing, but we should be able to survive that, right? Yes, yeah, so we end up surviving. He does get the special defense boost, which I'm fine with. We're physical attacking on the ho, -ho slot. I think we proc policy here, right? I think we do proc policy. We're at plus one, which isn't too bad. And we're gonna end up doing some mean old damage there. So big time damage there over onto Sogaleo. Um not too bad. We set the weather here as well, which is great. Get some weather, and there's the weakest policy. Saw that from 85,653 miles away. And now I have to coach up on this Wimscott. Oh no, I get the coach on Mazetta. Or, uh, okay, I'm cool with that. I think coaching only goes on ally Pokemon. So, yeah, okay, that works. That works really well. I guess I'll coach again, right? <laughs> Might as well. Or I can hard swap into, say, like Calyrex or something. Or even Groudon. Huh. I mean, we could just keep coaching at this point. Who could he go into? Like what other Pokemon does he probably have? He probably has the Kyogre. He probably has the Ho oh, oh, I would think. Hmm. I mean, obviously, we're, we're, we're stuck in Encore, so I'm just going to coach up again. And I think I just go for like another Flare. I'm, I'm all about this. I'm all about dropping another Flare. He could guard, which he does. That's totally fine. Wimscott's kind of just here, wasting turns out here. He's just going to go for Moonblast. I'm, I'm fine with that. Fine with that. We'll just keep boosting our uh keep boosting our ho -Oh. The flare's gonna get blocked. Dynamax turns are going to end rather soon. And we're coaching up again. We got my boy Ho-Oh ready to rock. So that was our final Dynamax turn. Um does he have one more? What did he do? He might have one more. He could hurt us. He could definitely hurt us. Uh we're, dude, we're boosting on defense like crazy. I'm just gonna keep coaching. <laughs> I'm just gonna coach. I'm just gonna drop a secret fire in the slot. Or I could recover. 
I just think we drop Sacred Fire. It's a safe play. Like I said, we're plus four or th three on defense. So we are just stacking up on defense. I think we're thriving here. The Zama's head is able to soak up again. He's going to go for a Lightning. He should be able to eat that up all day. Hell, all right? Yes, sir. And I was going to recover that turn. Could actually hard swap for Regenerator usage later. But I could protect, waste that last turn of Tailwind, and then maybe just recover. But weakness policy is proc. Oh my god, my attack is through the roof. My attack is ridiculous right now. My attack is ridiculous. We go into the Sacred Fire. We get rid of Solgaleo. My attack. Hey, what are we? Are we maxed on attack? I think we're going to be after his coach. So I'm, we're just encored into this thing. <laughs> Stats are boosted. I would love to stay in here and get some HP. I would love to stay in here for some HP. Encore ends. Encore ends. Cool. Uh, if it goes to Kyogre, I'm going to wide guard and try to recover here. It is going to be Kyogre. We're definitely wide guard. Have to wide guard. Wide guard until recover. Get some HP back. And then go from there. We are coached like crazy. Let me see this thing's stats. Let me see, let me see your stats, dude. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my lord! Speed plus one, special attack plus two, defense plus four, attack plus six. That's absurd. That's absurd, but I'm just gonna wide guard here. And I'm gonna go for the recover here. The Trick Room does have one more turn, right? Am I correct on that? I am correct on that. Whew. Let's just recover. Let's just recover here. Get some HP back. Here comes a wide guard. Send it. Send it. Well, Scott goes for the encore. You gonna encore me? Oh, I have to attack now? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We are slower than that Kyogre. Hopefully he's going for a, what's it called? Hopefully he's going for like a, a water spout here. He does. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think he's choice. He's got to be choice if we're slower than him being plus one on speed. He's got to be choice, so I'm just going to keep wide guard. Beautiful. We are plus one. The tailwind is gone. We're well, not the tailwind, though. What's gone is gone. The, uh, what is it even called? The trick room. I'm just going to wide guard again. And I might just take out the Kyogre. Who do we have in the back end? Oh, we have, we have Groudon in the back end. I'm totally fine. I'm just going to wide guard. And then I'm just going to go into a Brave Burn. I'll sacrifice my life. Oh, no, I can only use Secret Fire. Her soul. Her soul. I guess we'll just go after Groudon. Or Kyogre. That's fine. We're gonna Wagger again. I think this thing's choice. I really do think this thing is choice. Let's see. It is choice. It is choice. So let's just start teeing off some damage on this. How much damage is this Sacred Fire gonna do? I'm really curious to see. Plus six in the rain. Some good damage. <laughs> Half damage on that thing. And we get a burn. <laughs> and we get a burn. Oh, he's gonna go for a brave burn. He's gonna take out here. He's gonna take out Ho. Oh, that's a big mistake. He's gonna leave my wide guard Zamazena on the field here. I'm totally cool with that. And I feel like we just go straight into a what's going on. We just keep wide guarding and we go straight into a what's going on. Go into Calyrex. I mean, Calyrex isn't too bad here. Do I go into Calyrex? I mean, Calyrex can finish off that. Okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm surprised he didn't take out Zamazetta. Zamazetta would have been the play because then he could have been able to outspeed me and actually get some value out of his water spout. But it'd be like that. But yo, perfect record coming at you guys. Coming at you guys. We've been playing so good. Wygar coming out here. He's choice. He can't do anything about it. And I think he just cancels battle, right? I would cancel battle. He does not. We're just going to keep guarding. Wide guarding coming out here from Zamazetta. We love it. There's the water spout. We know he's choice. We know he's choice. <laughs> We know it's happening. So wide guard blocks that for the third time in a row, which is huge. And then Ashra is gonna fly here. Ashra flies, takes out Kyogre right, and Ho oh can soak a little bit. Ho oh soaks. Ho oh soaks it up. What's he going for here? And we get a Grim Neighbors. A lovely Grim Neighbors. I think he's just gonna Brave Bird again, right? Yep, he Brave Birds. Probably gonna Zamazetta slot at this point. Yep, and takes him out. Bye, Zamazetta. Thanks for coming out here. And he gets a crit. I was gonna say maybe we can survive because of the defense boost, but. It's all good. It is all good. It is all good. That's going to be GG's. But yo, what a third and final battle. What an amazing set of battles all around. Absolutely dominated today. Killed it on the rank ladder. Picking us up three victories and zero losses. But this awesome team. This team was definitely a lot of fun to use. It wasn't just like straight up meta Pokemon we were using. We were rolling out strong with Ho-Oh. Rolling out pretty strong with the Ho-Oh squad.
I really like. But we're going to drop a times four super effective Rock Tomb. And then an Astral Barrage, which will take him out. And that's going to be GG's. Cancel the battle. Cancel the battle, please. Save that poor little bird. I do not want to kill it if I don't have to. And he stays in there and he lets the poor little bird die. What a horrible trainer. <laughs> what a horrible trainer. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 for today's video. A lovely, perfect record. It always feels good to go 3 0 in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't remember the last time I went 3 0. I probably went it 3 0 like last week, but it feels good. It definitely feels good. We dominated with today's team. We had the Regenerator and Weakness Policy. Ho oh, oh. That was just absolute fire. It dominated every single battle and it rocked out pretty strong. We got Samuseta out there in the third and final battle. Dominated with that Wide Guard and totally countered that Kyogre. And then we had Groudon, Venusaur, Kylarx, and my boy Grimstar will show up in a few battles as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.